Welcome back to Solar Fashion. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on a basic bodice. I have my pattern paper here and this is what I'll be using to draft the pattern. I'm not directly on my fabric just in case I make any mistakes. First thing I'm doing is drawing out the reference line and that reference line is half an inch and it's just so we could create some space at the top there that we're going to be using later. Then I'm going to go ahead to measure my shoulder to bust line. And when you're measuring, you're measuring from the highest part of your shoulder to the highest point of your bust. So you go ahead to place whatever you get from that reference line and then you mark it out. Next, it is the shoulder to the waist point. And you measure from the highest part of your shoulder to the thinnest part of your waist or about one inch above your navel. Next is a measurement from the shoulder up to the upper hip line or the full length. And I don't have a picture for this but just know that it's a measurement from the highest point of the shoulder to wherever you want the top to stop. So I'm just going to go ahead to label this bust line, waistline and the full length. Now I'll go ahead to measure the neck width which is 3 inches and the neck depth which is also 3 inches and this is standard measurement. Next is the shoulder measurement and you measure between each shoulder joint. Whatever you get as your shoulder length you're going to divide by 2 because these measurements were taken on fold. Which just basically means that we folded the front piece into two. So you divide whatever you get as your shoulder length by two and you take it down by one inch from the reference line and then you connect it to the neck with a slant line. Next is the length of the armhole and there are standard measurements that you use for this which are placed on the screen. Another way to get this is to place whatever you get as your shoulder length divided by 2 as your armhole depth. So whatever your armhole depth is, you're going to place from the slant shoulder line and then mark it and that will be your chest line. So this is me connecting the armhole line and I'm just making sure that it is straight. So because naturally our bodies are not as flat as this pattern paper is, our bodies have curves. We're going to be adding that to bring out those curves. So in order to know the width of your dart or how far your dart will be from the center front or the edge of the pattern paper there you are going to measure your nipple to nipple that's the point from one nipple to the other nipple and you divide by two and for me i have four inches so i'm going to place the four inches on the bust line the waistline and the full length and i'm going to connect that to the point of the middle of the shoulder and if we're doing a shoulder that there'll be a that's around this midpoint of the shoulder but we're doing only a waist and side that so i'm going to take 0 0.5 inches to the left and to the right of the waistline there and i'm going to connect it to about one inch below my bust line and about two inches below the full length so the width is a total of one inch and you could increase or decrease this based on your size next we're going to put down the bust width and because this is a round measurement for the shoulder we divided by two because it's a straight measurement but for the bust waist and the full length or the hip line it's going to be divided by four because it's a round measurement so after dividing bust circumference by four whatever you get you're just going to place it and we're going to come back to add our seam allowance later on for the waist circumference, you divide by 4 and instead of just placing down whatever you get, you're going to add back whatever you took for the dart and for us here is 1 inch. So I'll add back 1 inch and then for the hip line or the full length, I'll just divide by 4 and place whatever I get because there's no dart around that area. So in order to curve out the armhole, I'm going to divide the armhole length by 2 and go into a pattern by 0 0.5 inch at that point. And then I'm going to connect the shoulder to that point and to the end of the bust measurement. And I'm making the armhole this way only on the front piece. It's going to be different on the back piece. So the length from the shoulder to the waist for the back piece is shorter than that for the front piece because of the bust. So in order to make the front and the back piece to lap properly, we're going to be adding a side that. And in order to get the width of the side that, you're going to minus whatever the length of the shoulder to the waist of the back piece is 
from the length of the shoulder to the waist of the front piece so for mine it is 1.5 inches so i'm just going to put 1.5 inches down below the bust line and i'm going to connect it to one inch away from the previously made that line now i'm going to go ahead to add my 0.5 inch seam allowance around the measurement but at the side i'm going to add one inch seam allowance So I'm done with the front piece and I'll just go ahead to start with the back piece. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm just marking out one inch for the zip allowance at the center back. Since we've already calculated previously the difference in length of the shoulder to waist on the back piece and the front piece and it was 1.5 inch for me, I'm just going to go ahead to take out 1.5 inch from the back piece there so that it can match with the normal length of the back and also match with the front piece which we've taken 1.5 inch that at the side for. So I'm taking the measurement up from the waistline by 1.5 inch. So we're going to have a new waistline and a new full length. Now we can go ahead to take all the back measurements. For the neckline, you're going to take the same thing for the width as you took the front piece. And that is 3 inches for width. And for the length, I took 1 inch. And in all this, you won't be including your zip allowance when you're measuring. I'll go ahead to mark my shoulder length the same way I did for the front piece. And then my armhole length which will be on the same level as the front piece that's the chest line next i'll go ahead to mark out my dart and i'm taking it the same way i took the front piece for the width and you'll make sure that you're not measuring the zip allowance as you're measuring this so for the front piece we took four inches and then for the back piece it's the same four inches but if you're including the zip allowance it's five inches then on the new waistline that we marked out you're going to take 0.5 inch to the left and to the right of that line making a total of one inch and connect it to the bust line and then you're going to go two inches above the new full length line and then connect the dots to that point then for your round measurements you can just take the same thing you took on the front piece for the back piece because the dart is the same width on both the front and back piece so the measurements would be the same but just make sure you're not including the zip allowance then i'll just go ahead to make the armhole curve for the back piece and you notice that compared to the front piece the armhole curve on the back piece does not go into the pattern so that's one difference between the front and the back piece then i'm just going to go ahead to add my seam allowance 0.5 inches round and one inch at the side So this is the final product for the front and the back piece and you'd notice that the front piece is longer than the back piece so that's where the dart comes in so when you sew in this dart you notice that the front will then match with the back piece so i'm just here demonstrating and you can see that the dart has also created some space for the bust on the front piece and when you place it on the back piece you'd see that the length is now matching at the side although the center front would be longer but at the side there it would match with the back piece so i had to test out this pattern with some fabric i had at home and i just quickly used the pattern to make this top and this is how it turned out you could see the side that and you could also see the waist that and please try to ignore the fact that this material is not ironed i just quickly fixed up this blouse and I just pinned the zip allowance at the back so I could wear it and show you. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Share this video to someone that might find this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section and I'm going to do well to answer all your questions. Thank you and I'm going to see you in my next video.